On this week's gear guide, we'll explain how to release any species of fish and still get an exact replica mount. A tail walking billfish can take your breath away. Its power and grace testify to the true spectacle that is blue water fishing. To protect this majestic icon, groups such as the Billfish Foundation and King Sailfish Mounts rally nonstop to promote billfish release. Through its tagging efforts, TBF provides scientists information about billfish migration, growth rates, and stock structure. That translates into better management for these important species. TBF's tag and release co-sponsor, King Sailfish Mounts, pioneered the release mount concept so that anglers catching billfish or trophies of any species could release them yet retain a vivid memory. Rather than employing the original fish skin, KSM pours composite materials into molds to make its mounts. They're finished with a rich blend of lacquers, pearl, and iridescent paints that achieves a striking depth of color. Ordering a release mount is easy, but the process begins on the water. Have a tape measure and camera handy. If you don't have a tape, a length of monofilament will do. With billfish and other large fish that should be kept in the water, anglers can quickly tape overall length and girth, if the fish cooperates. Or simply photograph the fish from above, relative to the side of the boat. Then measure the boat. Anglers may request billfish tagging kits from TBF, but only those capable of safely planning a tag should use them. After tagging, the angler completes a TBF information card, which also may be used for a release mount. Fish brought aboard should be taped quickly with minimal handling, then released. Photos help KSM marine artist Raymond Douglas accurately paint a mount to match the real thing. Remember to take photos with the sun at your back and from several angles. For more information on TBF, go to billfish.org. To order a release mount, visit kingsailfishmounts.com. For Sport Fishing Magazine TV, I'm Chris Woodward.